what is up everyone welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new if you are new definitely hit the subscribe button down below right now because you have stumbled across a vlogmas video and i will be posting videos every single day from december 1st to the 24th christmas eve so you'll definitely want to follow along and if you've missed any so far you can hit the playlist that i'm going to put at the top of the screen and catch up on all the vlogmases because we have lots of fun things going on welcome to today's video which is going to be christmas wish list ideas or christmas gift ideas and i'm very excited to share them with you so happy vlogmas day eight <laughs> have the wish list on my phone so I'm gonna pull it up really fast just give me a second so for this video I wanted to put together a bunch of things that might be on my Christmas list or are just things that I would want or want to give to someone because I think that they're really fun ideas so I'm gonna compile them all together talk about them we're just gonna chit chat a little bit and maybe you'll get some ideas of what you want to give your friends your family what you want to ask for on your Christmas list or just some things to put on your wish list to buy yourself because I love doing that too so I broke these all up into categories because I had so many fun ideas that I just didn't even know where to begin so we're gonna start with my first category which is travel also I have my coffee so might be sipping throughout don't be fooled it's definitely a nice coffee but just in a mug first things first we have this travel backpack and it is actually from Walmart so you can see it now on the screen I've been wanting a really nice travel backpack that is large enough to hold more than what I have currently like I have regular size small backpacks but these travel ones are specifically made for travel so they have all kinds of really good compartments that you can fit so much stuff into a smaller space and they still fit the regulations for flying so this is just something i've been wanting there's some great colors i would really like the tan one or whatever color this is called i'm not sure but this is the one i really really want and it's so cute and it's something that i put on my wish list this year so that's the first one next this one is kind of random but I felt like it was travel because it could totally go in your backpack with your backpack and I always have one while traveling and that is a reusable water bottle if you've flown then you know you have to dump out all your liquids from your water bottle before you enter the gates at the airport but if you bring an empty reusable water bottle you can fill it up once you're inside and have water on the go so that is what I always do and I have a favorite water bottle it is from the brand simply modern and they came out with a new print that I'm obsessed with and I want it so bad so I put it on my list this year this is what it looks like it is a cream leopard print that's all kind of like monotone and I think it is so cute I own one of these it's not around me but I own the white one with the black lid and I use it every single day and I really need a second one so that I can wash the one I have more often because I definitely don't wash as much as I should which is gross so all that to say that this is my favorite brand of water bottle. I think they are super, super good. I think they're probably comparable to Hydro Flask. I've never had one, but I could literally leave this sit for two days and the water's still cold. So love it. Okay, next is something from Rifle Paper Co. And I have heard of this company, but I've never really gone on their website and like browsed or anything like that. But a travel gift that I had on my mind this year is a passport holder because we're thinking about getting our first passports this year, which is exciting. So having a passport holder to put it in would be really nice. So I just Googled cute passport holder and let me show you what I found you guys. So this is the passport holder from the Rifle Paper Company and it is so freaking cute. The color is called bone voyage and it just has really iconic landmarks on it from big cities it's leather i just think it's a super super cute option so 10 out of 10 would recommend that as a gift and yeah i'd love to receive it myself there was also a matching pouch that goes with it it's the same print so cute Okay, two more things on the travel front. So first of all, when my boyfriend Angela and I travel, we are always trying to hike or do something outdoorsy. And the hiking boots that we have are from Aldi. Yes, you heard me right, Aldi, the grocery store. They were like 10 or 20 bucks a pair, literally so cheap. They're like our introductory hiking boots, our first ones we've ever had, but I think it's time for an upgrade. So this is something that I kind of have on my list, but also I would rather probably just buy it myself because they're a little pricey, but I'm really excited about them because they're the cutest freaking hiking boots and I know they'll be good. So these right here are, I'm reading the name for you, 
the Women's Kinetic Breakthrough Conquest Sneaker Boot, and the color that I like is called Velvet Tan Gum. So, they're these really cute hiking boots. They're super chunky on the soles, which makes me think they'll be super comfortable. I have two pairs of sneakers from Sorel, two of the exact same pair, and they are also the Women's Kinetic Breakthrough sneakers, and they're chunky as well. They're the most comfortable shoe I've ever worn. I will never go back to like Nike or anything like that for like a comfort like tennis shoe. So that's why I picked these boots. I've never like actually owned these myself, but because I love Sorel so much, I thought they would be perfect. And maybe I'll treat myself in the new year because I've been really, really eyeing these. Okay, we're on to the last thing in the travel category. And I kind of put this in travel because it didn't really fit elsewhere, but also it can make sense for travel. And that is simply phone cases. A great gift to give, a great gift to receive, and something that I can never have too many of, I feel like. Right now I actually only have one because I got a new phone this year and I didn't want to buy multiple because it was a little expensive. But I will say that I would 10 out of 10 recommend Casetify. I have my first Casetify case. This is what it looks like. I'll show you guys. It's New York themed. It's so cute and this is clear so actually you can see through it and my phone is white. Some people don't realize that at first but this is actually clear. It has the bumper on the sides and it is amazing. I actually love Case Defy. So I would highly recommend these. Like I said, they're a little bit on the pricier side, but if they're in your price range, they're a great gift. And this one is the one that I'm actually having on my list this year because I think it's super funny and cute. Now we're on the home category. So I am a recent homeowner as of this year and I have three things on my list that I think are very expensive and maybe even overpriced, okay? So I'm gonna be honest with you right there. But these are the three home items that I've had on my Christmas list this year and they're things that I think would be highly useful. So the first one is, of course, the Dyson V8 Origin Vacuum. So I feel like these Dyson vacuums, like the cordless one, has been super famous. Everyone's talking about it, everybody has one. I'm late to the train, but now that I own my house and I'm cleaning, honestly, a little bit more than I did when I had an apartment and we have stairs with carpet on them, I feel like I need a vacuum and I feel like it needs to be like a lightweight cordless one that I can take up and down every floor really easily. So that's a for sure on my Christmas list. Next is the Our Place Always Pan. So I do not own one of these and I've never had one and it's been on my wish list for a couple years, but it's literally just expensive and so silly that it's that expensive, but it looks like a really great pan. And actually my friend Taylor's roommate has one and I've seen it at their house and it's so pretty and wonderful. So I have this on my list again this year, but I changed actually to the charcoal color and I think it's super, super cute. So definitely a good wish list item. And lastly for the home category, I wrote just new bedding in general. So I'm going to show you guys two of the ones that are on my wish list. One's from Kohl's, a little bit pricier, and then one's from Walmart, super comparable, way cheaper. So I would say bedding is a really fun gift to give or ask for um, if you know someone's style really well and you're looking for that kind of gift. So I'm asking for a like sand colored bedding this year. We have white and just like everyone told me, which I totally knew when I got it, white gets dirty and it's getting gross. It's like on its last leg. So I would love to get a tan one. I think it would be a little cleaner, but it's still light, bright, neutral, and I love it. So that is what I'm asking for for sure this year. Only two more categories. So first we're gonna do tech and then we're gonna do cozy. So for the tech category, I have four things. Two of them have to do with the Nintendo Switch, which is our video game console of choice right now. So I would say that these can apply to anyone if they have a video game console that they own or play a lot. First one is just games, easy, great gift, a little bit on the pricier side, like I said, but if it's in your price range, that's a great gift for someone it is like a new game that they don't have. So Switch games for sure. This year, for example, I am asking for, so random and silly, but the Animal Crossing expansion pack because I really want all of the new features that are on this expansion pack in my Animal Crossing game. I think it'd be so fun. This next one is really cool and I am really hoping I get this. If not, I'm definitely gonna buy it for myself. This is a, let's see what it's called. It's from the iVolar brand on Amazon, but it is a carrying storage case for Nintendo Switch and it carries everything. So right now our Switch has just like a little regular carrying case. It's only as big as the handheld part of the Switch and you can't put all the like gadgets in with it because it's too small. So this one that's on the screen, it holds everything, the base, the cord, the HDMI cord, everything. So when we travel, 
we almost always bring our switch with us like when we went to tennessee that you guys saw in the beginning of vlogmas we brought our switch with us and played with the whole family and when we travel like that we need something good to put it in so this is like a little bit of a harder sided case I think this would be perfect. Okay, so next two we have an expensive one and a cheaper one. So these are some other options to gift or be gifted. The first one is a little bit more expensive. This is the JBL Clip Speaker. Both of my siblings got this last year for Christmas from Santa and I'm super freaking jealous because I love it. I think this one, specifically the gold, pink, and blue one is super cute and now that I'm looking on it, I see it's on sale for $50, which is way cheaper than the original price, but this seems like a really great speaker. I like that you could take it on the go, and it's super lightweight, small, and easy, so definitely recommend. And then this one my stepdad showed me, and I already own it, but I'm putting it in here anyways because I am a big proponent of these. These are the Skull Candy Dime Wireless Earbuds. So if you don't know, Angelo and I, we do not have iPhone. We do not want iPhone. We don't really like Apple all that much. So we have no AirPods, okay? But these Skull Candy earbuds, let me tell you how much they are. So for the regular dime, which is like the original version, we both have a pair and we both love them. They're 20 bucks. And then for the dime two, which are the new ones, Angelo said they have like tile tracking capability. They are $24.99. But of course, the multicolor ones, the ones that I like, are 40, which is just ridiculous because it's only for the color. All the other models are cheaper. But I would say that these are a great gift. They're Bluetooth compatible with, I think, any device that can do Bluetooth. So anyone can use these. Super affordable, like I said. I think the quality is great. Love using them. I use them almost daily. So definitely recommend these. We are on to the last category, which might even be the most exciting, cozy items. Everybody loves a good cozy item in the winter, so let's get started. I have four of them for you. The first ones, I bet you could guess by the thumbnail. I'm sure I put this in the thumbnail, but if not, I'll be shocked. The Platform Uggs. These are so freaking popular right now, so trendy. Everyone and their mother is trying to get their hands on a pair of these Platform Uggs, and I want them just as much as the next gal, but I would not pay that price. I think they're so expensive, but they're also so cute and like I said, very on trend. So if you're into that sort of thing, this is a great option for the wish list. Next, we have a Barefoot Dreams blanket. I own one of these. I got it for Christmas last year. So I am telling you guys this because I would highly recommend throwing it on your Christmas list. I got it from my grandma, so thank you. It is the softest blanket ever, and I actually did put it on my wish list again this year in a different color because I sleep with it every night, and I put it up over like my face a little bit, and it's so cozy. I love this blanket. So even though it's definitely an overpriced blanket, it's worth it in my opinion. I It's my best blanket for sure. Next, cozy item literally anything skims okay i placed my first skims order this year which i did not know what to expect from and i ended up loving the items i wear them every time like they come out of the washer i don't even put them away i just wear them again and then i put them in the laundry again because that is how much i love them so what i have is this bra and i also have these comfy shorts so i'll show you both but literally anything on their website would be a great gift. Sometimes they have like a sale slash clearance section and the prices are pretty affordable in there. I know their regular prices are a little bit up there, but I think the quality is amazing and I love skins. Okay, last item. These were $20 and now they're marked down to 16. So I feel like this is a pretty good affordable option and these are so freaking cute. Another Amazon find and these are the smiley face slippers. I've seen these around for about the past year and I think they're super cute. There is yellow ones, blue, whatever. I really love the pink ones. If I had them, I would wear them every day because I think they're so cute and happy and definitely very cozy. So that is all for my Christmas wish list slash gift list video. I hope you enjoyed seeing what's on my wish list or what I would recommend as gifts for others. I hope that you all found something that kind of sparks some inspiration within you. So even if there's something on this list that's not in your price range, maybe you can find it on Amazon or something similar. That's what I do. I'm always looking for a deal. I love Target for that because I always have Target credit, coupon codes, I use Honey, I use Rakuten, all the couponing sites. So hopefully this could be a little bit of an idea sparker for you and you might be able to add some things to your Christmas list or find some gifts for people in your friends and family. So thank you again for watching. All the links will be down below if you want to shop any of these items. So definitely check that out. 
And like I said, subscribe to stick around for Vlogmas. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.